Good evening. Today is Friday, September 1st, 2023. Jump date for Tuesday the 5th. Remember, no trading on Monday in the States. It's Labor Day. And by the way, happy Labor Day for those of you who are in the States. All right, let's take a look at what's going on. We need to bump the stop and KNF hit uh, new highs nicely. KBH continue to go against us. Obviously, under your stop, just in case it hasn't got the memo. That home builders look like they're still in a lot of trouble. Lots of lots of home builders in here tonight. I think I saw one MOH, if memory serves, and one of them actually made new highs. But for the most part, they still look like they could be in trouble in their retrace rallies. So keep an eye on the home builders for potential setups. Uh, as far as setups, nothing new. I feel like we need most of these are home builders, and the one we have isn't working. And I think this just let things shake out a little bit. The fact that we're not seeing a lot of setups is actually a good thing given the conditions of the market. Let's get Labor Day behind us. Let's see how this market acts over the next month or so, or next few weeks at least. Right now, no setups I think is actually a good thing. Better to be on the dock drinking beer, wishing you out to sea, than out to sea, wishing you were on the dock. And believe me, I've been there a few times, as I've said ad nauseum. Let's take a look at that portfolio, and then let's take a look at the overall market. KBH still set up as a potential short in here. If we throw the bow tie moving averages in here, you'll see that still a bow tie to the downside, bumping up against that 50. We'll see if that continues to be resistance. Also, lots of overhead to deal with here, too. You know the routine, though, one day at a time. Let's get back to that portfolio. K and F, all-time highs. I'm not going to argue with that in an IPO, as I often say. All-time highs can beget all-time highs in IPOs, and that's usually, obviously, or obviously a good thing. LFMD, beginning to wake up in here. Decent day there, too. Back to break even. Let's not get too excited just yet, but I sure would like to see this thing pop out the top of its range. I know it's Captain Obvious there. As you can see, just kind of bouncing around in range and now beginning to improve. So let's just wait and see what happens. That's what you do as a trend follower. You, you do a lot of waiting. Let's take a look at the overall market. And drill down to some sector action. I don't want to read too much into today because it was a holiday shortened, not a holiday shortened session, but before a holiday session. But it the market did stall out, as you can see, outside day down. It managed to close up a little bit, so I guess that's better than the poke in the eye. I sure would like to see us take out these prior highs in here so we wouldn't have this head and shoulder or uh, gatekeeper type of retrace look. While we're down here, let's take a look at bonds. Bonds sold off fairly hard, so that's obviously a bit of a bummer. It looks like they might come back down these old lows once again. I hate to use the word hope, but hopefully those old lows will continue to hold. Hopefully it'll find support at those levels. Outside day down in the NASDAQ, it ended, ended it off a smidge, so that's a bit of a bummer stalling at these prior highs in here. Let's take a look at the Rusty. The Rusty actually got a bit of a bid today, so that's a good thing. Obviously, though, still stuck in this longer-term sideways range, but up almost a percent and a quarter. So that's better than the poke in the eye there. Speaking of much better than the poke in the eye, take a look at the energies. Now we're getting accelerated higher. Now at fresh all-time high. So now that's encouraging. Obviously, we get a pullback. We'll see quite a few setups. So that is certainly good news. Everybody always asks, when's the next setup? It's like, well, we have to wait. But right now, with the energies breaking out, we could see some setups there fairly soon, within a week or so. Take a look at foods, continue to break down in here. Nothing to get too excited about there, but it is one area that's breaking down. Drugs just kind of really not taking off just yet. They did it have a decent day, but off their best levels. We're still kind of stuck in this range after this one big breakout bar. But we're not too far from all-time high, so let's give them the benefit of the doubt for now. But you know me, I'd like to see some upside follow through. Manufacturing managed to bang out all-time highs in here, so that's a good thing. It really needs to clear these prior peaks in here, but I'm not going to argue with all-time highs for now. MNC, uh, with uh, a couple exceptions, again, I think it was MOH or MDH, uh, actually may do highs, but most of the stocks here look like they're still in trouble. As you can see, retracing back up to its 50 simple. So far, round the top, invert a cup and handle, or pick your favorite topping pattern. Leisure still looks questionable at best. First thrust down, bow tie there. Let's take a look at transports. Transport's kind of a little bit of a bump in there, but you can see recently rolled over, bow tie down, sharp bow tie against that 50. And also, as I would say quite a bit, it, it has bumped up against all these prior highs before rolling over. Software, one of the better looking areas. As you can see, the bow ties have flipped back up to the upside. 
Not too far from these brand new highs, but obviously you still have to get there. Semiconductors, not a whole lot to report there. So far, just kind of retracing back up. I'm not going to get too excited about the semis until unless we can get past this prior peak, which would put us at all-time highs if we got past it decisively. So that would obviously be a good thing, but we won't know it until we see it, obviously. Anyway, uh, what else is happening in the semis? At least we're above the 50 simple moving average, a couple of bars of Landry Light. I think that's about it. Not a whole lot new to report. As I've preached, when you're at kind of an inflection point, a retrace like we've been in, one big down day sure makes things look ugly and suggest the top might be in place. But then you have a few big up days and you get a little closer to those old highs and things begin to look better. And so that mixed kind of action that could change quickly, that, that sort of explains why we're not seeing a whole lot of setups. And number two, why we shouldn't be taking a whole lot of setups at this juncture. Trading is, I was thinking about this right before we went live, it's less about taking action and often more about not taking action, knowing when not to take action. I think now, again, is one of those times, and as I preach, I wish somebody a long time ago would, told me, would have told me it's okay to sit on your hands every now and then. I think that's it. Everybody enjoy your long weekend, and we'll talk again on Tuesday. I will be checking out on Facebook, so feel free to hit me up there. Everybody have a great weekend again, and we'll talk again on Tuesday.